This video tutorial is to guide you through the Caliber spam filtering solution that we have implemented on your email account. And so I want to go through a couple of things that are very important for you to take a look at and uh, then you can kind of consider how you can utilize those uh, in your day to day uh, going through your email messages. First off, as you see on the screen right now, is an email message that you will receive every morning that messages are quarantined as spam into the spam filtering solution. Now whenever an email message comes into your account and it is flagged as spam, instead of getting delivered to your inbox, it actually goes into a quarantine and rather than uh, bombard you with messages that this is potential spam um, that quarantine accumulates those and then every morning at about 12 a.m. Uh, our system sends you an email that looks exactly like this and you can actually see here on the screen that in this case uh, for this this morning that uh, there was one email message that was actually quarantined and you'll actually see here that in this particular email it gives you four pieces of information first off it gives you who the email is from or the email address that it actually came from it also gives you the subject line and it also gives you the time that it came in which would have been seven o'clock uh, last night and then you have two actions that you can take you can take release or whitelist so basically when you get this email message it's very important for you to go down through the list of all of the emails and see if there are any in email messages that got quarantined that maybe shouldn't have and generally you're going to know uh, whether they should or should not have gotten quarantined um, by the email address or by the subject line now if it's an email message that you're not real sure of you can click on this released link here and that will release the email message one time that one email message it'll release it one time and it will appear in your inbox um, if it's an email message and the email address looks something similar to this and you want to make sure that you receive all email messages from that person you can actually click whitelist and all email messages that come from this particular email address would then get delivered to your inbox now when you click on either one of these links it's actually going to take you to a web page that looks similar to this and you will be required to log in with your username and password and then it will uh, either release or whitelist that message for you now the email address is your email address that you use for your email and then the password is the same as what was provided to you when we set up your email account um, if you do not have that password you can contact our office and we can provide that for you but it should have been on the piece of paper now you'll also notice here in red that it says four blatant spam messages were omitted but remain in the quarantine what that means is that our spam filtering solution actually has four more messages but they don't appear here in this table and those messages are blatant spam messages they're really known they've got the characteristics that we're pretty confident that those are actual spam messages now they haven't been listed here but they do remain in the quarantine and you can actually view that quarantine in its entirety to determine if uh, there are any email messages that you need to release now one question that we do receive uh, periodically from our clients is um, okay if I get a phone call from somebody and they say hey I sent you an email but it didn't show up in my inbox how do I get that without waiting until the next day to get this quarantine summary well that's really simple um, I would suggest keeping uh, the latest version of this message in your inbox and because you'll notice over here in the top hand, right hand corner of it it says enter quarantine so this gives you a link that at any time during the day or night you can actually go into your email account uh, into the spam filtering account and actually check the quarantine and release messages from there so if you get that phone call from somebody that says hey I sent you an email message but you didn't get it you, and you can actually go directly into the quarantine and either release or whitelist that so if you click on this enter quarantine you'll notice that it's going to take you to our spam filtering management portal page 
So you enter in your email address and your password and simply click log in. And it's going to take you directly to this section here that says quarantine messages and then it'll have your name. And this entire list here are all of the email messages that have been quarantined for your email account. And these go back, you can see that I have uh, four pages, there's 385 email messages um, that are quarantined. And so our quarantine uh, keeps these for uh, quite a long period of time. Um, as a matter of fact, we can go back, uh, it goes back to April the 13th. Um, so really it keeps them for about two weeks and then it deletes them out of the quarantine. Um, so you've got two weeks to, to check your, uh, your quarantine, um, otherwise they may or may not be there. Again, you'll notice here that you actually have several columns that are very similar to the email message. You have the email address that it's from, who it was sent to, what email address it was actually sent to, the subject line, the receive date, and then you also have the size and then the score. And the score of the email message is that the higher that it is, the more likely that it is a spam message. Now in this case, um, if you, you'll notice that the subject lines here have the ability to where you can actually click on them. So from the actual quarantine portal, you can actually look at the email message and not even send it to your inbox. So let's say for example that I wanted to uh, check out this message here. I could click on this link and it's going to open it up and you'll see here that it gives me the quarantine message detail. And uh, I can take a look and see, you know, is this an email message that I actually want to receive or, or not. Um, this does not affect your computer system at all, so it's safe to actually look at these emails from here. Now you'll notice down here at the very bottom that I have basically three different options. I can release this email message, which again is just going to release this email one time. So it means that it's going to let it out, go to my inbox. Now I don't really need to do that because I can actually see the email message right here. The other option that we have is this whitelist and release. If I want to receive email messages from this sender from this point forward, I can click whitelist and release and it's going to allow all future messages, including this one, to be delivered to my inbox. The third option that I have is delete. I can just delete this message from the quarantine, so if I click on that, you'll notice that it is now gone and uh, you really don't have to worry about doing the delete because uh, it's going to automatically delete after about a two week period anyway so that's not going to hurt anything. Now another way from this list view that you can actually uh, release messages you'll notice over here on the left hand side you've got different check boxes. So if for example this email message here uh, for, uh, forward the elephant's journey if I wanted to release that, I could check mark that box and I can click on release and again that's going to release that message one time or I can click on whitelist and release so it will release that message and all future messages from the sender. So you can actually uh, do it from here and then once that's done then a few moments later it will actually appear in your Microsoft Outlook inbox. So that's the quarantine that uh, you can actually utilize on your email account. So again, every morning you will get this email message from us listing all of the messages that have been uh, filtered as spam. And if they reach a higher score, um, they're not going to show up because you know we're pretty confident that those are blatant spam messages. And you can release or whitelist them from here, or you can click on Enter Quarantine and it will take you to your quarantine where you can then either view the message or you can also release it or whitelist it from here. So hopefully this will give you a little bit of clarity and direction on how you can actually utilize the spam filtering solution that we have that helps keep your email streamlined so that you're only getting the messages that you want to receive as well as keeping viruses and other spyware and malware from infecting your computer system um, by having those viruses come in through emails. 
So we have a really robust and powerful uh, spam filtering solution and hopefully this answers a few of your questions on how you can actually utilize it. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at our office at 386-8919, option 2. Thank you.